So we're here at the Actions uh, Semiconductor here with, uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Robert. So what do you do? Uh, I'm the Sales and Marketing VP of Actions. So here you have uh, uh, ATM 7039. Can you hold this one? Uh, this ATM 7039. What kind of resolution is here maybe? So this is a Full HD on... Uh, full HD 8 inch or something like that? Uh, 8.9 inch. 8.9 inch Full HD. And uh, so what's special about the 7039? So 7039, we have very powerful Qualcomm A9 core. So it's around up like 1.60 gigahertz per core. Also, we use a very powerful GPU. We use uh, SGX Imaginations SGX 504. So it's a very powerful, excellent GPU, it's, uh, which IP3 also using the same GPU. And for the DDR, it's a 64-bit DDR. So we can support up to the RENA resolution. For this kind of resolution of Full HD resolution, we can provide very uh, broad, excellent bandwidth, so the data transition, you can do it very well. And this is a great cost, uh, powerful device. Yes. Low cost. Uh, for the high end segment, we provide very, so actions we're not just doing the, the, the CPU. We integrate a lot of companion inside our chip. So LVDS, HDMI, they are all integrated in the main chip. Okay. Also, we are doing our own uh, PMU and the audio codec. Also, even the Ethernet 5, we integrate in the companion chip. So overall, the bound cost is very competitive. So you make a full system integration. Uh, if you go around here. Uh, which which solution has a 4K H.265? Um, so 7039, we have the 4K H.265. H. So which is the the new trend for the video streaming, and we believe that's gonna provide a very good user experience to the to all the customers. Are we showing here. Yeah. So this is the box right here. Yeah, we're doing the OTD box. Uh, there's a 39 inside here. Uh, this one is 29. So we uh, for the 39 OTD box, we haven't bring that yet. So um, can, can you explain a little bit more uh, some of the integration that you do in system? Um, uh, what what kind of stuff goes on? So we have we can talk with you on the on the 29. Yeah, so you, you are an engineer at Actions. Yes, yes. So what kind of, uh, you're talking about full integration. Yes. You, you provide like highly optimized PCB design. Uh, yes, we do. How do you do that? No, we have our customers been working with that on that. So one of them that we can, one of the things we can do is actually have the uh, all the components actually reduced to the to the minimum bare bone. You know, so it actually takes into account how much uh, functions we can go and suck into the IC itself. So you can go and have the components actually outside on the PCB to actually reduce to the minimum. So that way it can cut down your PCB cost itself, and also have the entire uh, the efficiencies and everything running a lot better. So, so at Action case, Semi. You uh, work a lot with PCB design also? Oh, yes. yes. So, uh, cutting down the size, or what, what is cutting down? Which part exactly do you need to cut down? Well, when you have a PCBA design, when you have a PCB design, basically comes two things. Depends on how much function you can go and put into an IC. For example, if you have HDMI output, and then um, you don't have HDMI output port with a file actually integrated, then you actually have to use additional IC on the outside to actually enable that function. But in, in our case, we, we took that function into our ICs already. So when you actually have that going. So um, HDMI transmitter is integrated in, into our main chip? Into SOC? Into the SOC. So external, you just need a connector. You don't need an external HDMI chip to, to do those things. Which other parts you have like that? So LVDS. Also integrate. LVDS is what? Uh, it's, uh, so connecting to the panel, you panel need a, yeah. touch. So some yeah. SOC, some SOC vendor, they don't have LVDS technology, so they need an external uh, LVDS transmitter and on the PCB, on which the PCB, you don't need. We, I don't need. And everything is behind the SOC kind of. Yeah. The SOC area. Yes. And, and what else? And also we are quite we are the expert in we have expertise for the mixed mode analog design. So for the uh, PMEG IC, the power management unit, also the audio codec, they are integrated. We have our own companion chip. So that's going to save a lot of bank costs. Also, the chip, uh, PCBA is on. You don't need a, a lot of external. That's company. the audio? And how audio? about the video? Uh, video that's already into the main chip. That's so, in the main chip? Yeah, uh, we have a, so it's actually, not a DSP or something like that? Uh, no, no, no. It's all. So 
for the video, we have a video engine that's integrated in the main chip. So our main chip actually we have uh, it's also the CPU, also the video engine, in the co engine, also those uh, a lot of things that's in the main chip. And for the inner portion, that's, we have another our own uh, mixed mode design. So is that something you do in all three? Or uh, is this something that is this some uh, more integration in the 38, 39? Um, yes. So, so for so here we show just the main chip. Actually, we have another companion chip we are not showing here, but which is also provide by Action Sam. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what's it called? The, the the video gets more and more integrated. The higher you go in the in the chip. There's more and more stuff going on. Uh, so for 739, like uh, for the, of course, but you can support up the Rayner resolution that you relate to your, no matter your DDR support, also like your, uh, the video decode engine. That's that's all integrated into 7039. Can we see here what's going on here? So, excuse me. <clears throat> so here we are showing some based on 7039. We are showing not just tablet. We are doing something different. So. For example, like this one. Uh, yeah. This one is uh, a smart monitor. So, which is uh, is an all-in-one PC running with Android. And also, we have uh, the monitor. You can use this one as a Android PC, or you can use this as a, a traditional monitor. So, we're working with uh, a big ODMs in Taiwan called Kispa. They are very uh, well experienced monitors. So the High quality touch yes. and uh, high integration with that. Yes. And uh, affordable, the most affordable all in one you can have in that size. Uh, Potentially the most affordable all in one yes. for that size. Yes. This is much better than using Intel or something else, right? Yes, definitely. Definitely. And what's going on here? And based on 7039, we are also doing something different. So this one is. Is this this box? Yes. So you can see here we have two boxes. So this box is uh, we call it Syncra. Syncra is uh, if you have a small office, yeah. you have ten people. Then originally you need every staff you would give them the x ADS. So it's an Intel PC running with Windows, right? That's how we do it yeah. normally. But here we just need one machine running Intel x86, and this one we run in the virtual machine for Windows. And on you. People staff on the desk, we just need a small box. This is our 7039. How many boxes can run one machine? One machine uh, can run many. Based on the CPU, how powerful on this one? For this one, you can connect to up to eight. 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 So here, so you can is see. Is it the 3.9 inside? Yeah, 3.9 inside. So, so HDMI, Ethernet, dual Ethernet. And uh, is the company going to sell this now? Uh, or is this a Biostar. No. Biostar is for sale. So Biostar is also a very well established. They, they, no, they, Ta they, did, they did Taiwan. They did a lot of PC multiple, and they are doing this kind yeah. of post machine and uh, synchron. What are you showing here? Oh, uh, this is an open platform. It's an open platform. Are, what CPU is this? Uh, it's, a, it's not tablet. It's a, for some uh, low power machine running uh, about 500 megahertz. It's kind of like a, a Arduino. Or something, something like that. Yeah. We provide platform. You can do in some stuff. And here Portable is a HD portable receiver. HD running ISPB dash T. Yeah. All right. And uh, over there, can we, uh, so, so for this one, I think you can take it here. Here you can see there is a Windows, right? Yeah. Here is Windows. But actually, here is Windows. It's Android. So this oh. machine can. So. Nice. So for this kind of thing, client does a. You are doing something uh, for the small office. You want to control your data. You don't. You don't want your employee to access some. Yeah. All, all they can access is on the server. So cool. you can control the data. All those finance. security. Yeah, security. But you still have Android fun. Use the Android fun. You can go on web and doing something. Can we check over here? Uh, so here you're showing some. Uh... Here we are doing the OTD box. So. And uh, over there is some smartwatch. Yes. Here also the Wi-Fi speaker, Wi-Fi boombox. Wi-Fi speaker. Yeah. So what kind of chip is in there? Uh, the chip <coughs> is a is ATS three six zero three. Is it the uh, MIPS based that one, or is yes. it the same is as it, the iPush? Yes, same as iPush. Uh, you are you are the expert. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Oh, what's going on here? Uh, here is some Bluetooth boom box, also the Bluetooth watch, so you can play uh, MP3 and then use Bluetooth to the streaming to the to other devices. Are you planning to do an Android smartwatch? Um, that's in plan, but we are still thinking, do we have what kind of advantage we can provide if we're doing this kind of business? Every so. time you do a new chip, you think what kind of cost advantage you can provide? Not just cost. I think we need to still need to focus on what kind of expertise or what kind of advantage we can actions can provide to the end user. Then, if after evaluation we really have some advantage, then we jump into the market to provide. The How business. big is actions? How many tablets with actions last year? Last year we shipped about about seven millions. Yeah. And uh, next year? Big. This year our target is more than 20 million. 20 million, so big, big growth in tablet. Yes. yes. And uh, growth where else? All the other uh, stuff you're talking about here. So, you can see, so we can back to here. So, <laughs> so for 7021, we are doing the, it's an entry deal code. So, they will ship to the emerging market like Latin America, Southern Asia, or Africa. And they are doing transition from single core to dual core. Dual core Cortex A, which one? So it's a A9 cost down solution. It's A9 family, and provide very good uh, performance with a very uh, competitive power consumption no cost. And 29B. So 29B we are doing is a is a quad core solution, and we are shipping to the uh, targeting for US European market for the entry level. So in the market this year, quad core will be the mention. So. We are going to ship this one to the U.S. and European market. And what is the difference between 29 and 29B? Um, we enhance the GPU. So the 7021 and 7029B, we both use SGS 5.0. So it's a very suitable solution if you are targeting for the panel less than 10.1 inch. So 1280 by 800 this kind of solution provide very excellent performance. And 7039 is targeting for the Full HD or Reina resolution. And, and did Actions, did you announce future processor? Did you announce your licensing yes. some crazy ARM So by, by end of this year, we will have a 64-bit um, CPU coming, showing to the market. Last ARM Cortex-A50 50 50 something. something, yes. <laughs> All right, cool. And that would be for tablet, for everything? Uh, definitely tablet and also this kind of application will also bring... Windows? Uh, last one of the printing, Maybe? but... How about Chrome? Chrome software? Uh, definitely that's in print, yes. All right. Ubuntu? Uh, Ubuntu actually does already... We have some people that are doing this kind of machines. 